Hey everybody and welcome to another episode of the Goofy Blonde Chef. By now we're about four weeks into this lockdown. I think we're all getting a little bit tired of it, but we know what's best for us so we stay put. And today we're going to make something that a lot of you commented on this week on my Instagram page. Wilted greens over a sweet potato mash and salt and pepper tempeh steaks. So good. You will not believe how quickly this thing comes together and it's just on the table in about 10 minutes. So I think you're going to love it. Hang on and here we go. And here are our ingredients. Start with a little extra virgin olive oil. These are greens. These are mostly sourced from my arrow garden and my little garden outside. I also had a couple of baby bok choy and um, we've got about three cups of greens here. This is a little over two cups of peeled and diced sweet potato. This, believe it or not, was one sweet potato, but um, for a normal sized one, you'd probably need two or three. We're gonna use Smiling Hara's tempeh. This is actually hempe. It's made with peanuts and hemp seeds. You can use a traditional tempeh. You could also use tofu. Um, great protein source. This happens to be soy free and gluten free. And it is already coated in a salt and pepper kind of crust, which makes it really tasty. This is my favorite of all the, the tempeh type products but you can use what you like for your protein. For sweet potato mash, we're gonna use, of course, some Miyoko's butter and some salt. We're also gonna use in our veggies some sesame oil, a little garlic, and the mash is also gonna use some plant milk, whatever you like. I like milkadamia a lot because it is a very neutral flavor. So there we have it. First, I've brought a pot of water to a boil. We're going to add our sweet potatoes. This has a few pinches of salt in it. I'm going to let these simmer kind of low and slow until they're fork tender. Now for our vegetables. I'm going to turn the heat up to medium high. Add a few turns of olive oil. I'm going to keep our garlic cloves whole so we can remove them out later. And as soon as that starts to sizzle up a little bit, we're going to add our greens. Okay, these are sizzling a bit. Add a drop of sesame oil and add all of our greens to the pan. I'm going to coat those in that oil. These are going to be done before we know it. So now our greens are nice and wilted and done. I'm going to remove them to a bowl. And in that same flavorful oil, I'm going to put our tempo. Slice the tempeh into thin little fillets. I'm just going to lay them in the pan. And let them get nice and brown. In the meantime, we should test our potatoes and see how they're doing. These are getting nice and golden. Gonna flip them. Oh, they smell like really rich and toasty. Excellent. Just let that go for another minute. I think our potatoes are just about done, so I'm gonna drain them and we're gonna come back and do the mash. I've 
drain our sweet potatoes, put them in a different container other than the pot because we don't want to scratch up our pot as usual. I'm going to add a nice chunk of dairy-free butter, a generous pinch of salt, maybe two, and our macadamia milk. Start with a little. We can always add more later. And now we're going to grab our masher and we're going to get mashing. Well, that's a perfect mash. And now we're going to plate. It is time to taste this masterpiece. It's really good. Yeah, more. <laughs> well, that was our episode. I hope you liked it. If you did, please like, subscribe, share, leave a comment. And we will see you next time on The Goofy Blonde Chef. Stay safe out there, everybody, and thank you so much for watching. <laughs>